Gumballs may seem harmless enough, but with the help of a little kinetic energy, they become anything but. <laughs> Stay tuned. I like gum as much as the next guy, but when it comes to the sugared variety, I prefer no cavities in my teeth. So when I found out that these gumballs were almost exactly 50 caliber, I couldn't help but imagine what would happen if I put them through the mass accelerator. Due to YouTube rules, I'm not going to go into too much depth about the apparatus used to accelerate the gumballs, but here's a card to the video for the inspiration. It essentially uses compressed air, in this case no more than 200 psi. All the components of the gun are able to be used at 500 psi, but I don't have $1,000 to drop on a compressor. If anyone wants to buy one for me, I'd be more than happy. <laughs> that valve opens really fast at the slowest 12 milliseconds. Just watch it in this clip. And, dear YouTube reviewer, this is not a firearm, it's an air gun, so please don't demonetize my video. Even if it were that big bad word, I think the video's compliant nonetheless. Let's start the show with this empty paint can. I used this paint to paint my boat this summer, and I want to get the marble out of the can. can't really see on camera, especially because they're all covered in paint, but there are some little fragments of gumball in there. This clip was taken at 240 frames per second, and it shows just how fast these gumballs are flying. Not to mention that they fly extraordinarily true, even with no sort of rifling. I'll play this clip one more time just so you can see how effectively the patch deploys without affecting the flight of the projectile. No projectile. I thought the head of a snowman would be kind of a fun thing to try to shoot, but it ended up having to be a kind of a weird shape because the snow was so hard to pack being cold as it is. I had to move those garbage cans also to stop the wind from blowing over my tripod. Honestly, this was really anticlimactic. I was hoping for a lot better than that. Even the snow will bust it up. It's interesting how normal a hole it is. It actually points right back to the place from which the gun was shot. If you don't understand this, there's honestly no way I can explain it that would be sufficient. This shot will give me an idea of the point of impact of these gumballs, as well as how they perform against a relatively hard target, being as brittle as they are. Looks like I'm hitting a little bit high and left, which is congruent with the hit on the Rust-Oleum can. 826 feet per second is no slouch. I can't imagine how fast these would be going at 500 psi instead of around 200. Probably supersonic. It's clear to see that these gumballs shattered on impact with the wooden board. But it did leave a sizable dent. And it did so repeatedly. That's pretty impressive for a little piece of sugar and sap that weighs only 26-ish grains. For comparison, with the gun at the same pressure, the lead ball only lodged itself that deep, and it weighs seven times as much. It helps to visualize just how light these gumballs really are. 
but that's 10 of them, and together, they all weigh 268 grains, so about 27 grains on average. And that's 7 of them that weigh 188 grains, which is essentially the same weight as a single lead ball of the same size. Weighing 26.8 grains and traveling at 826 feet per second, these gumballs are carrying over 40 foot-pounds of energy. The UK ought to require acquisition of a license to purchase gumballs. Let's see if these next couple shots can demonstrate just how powerful this really is. Red dye, not blood. <laughs> Gumballs are non-toxic. So this ginger ale in the snow is pretty tasty. <laughs> it actually does have a slight gumball flavor. Hmm. Mm. Looks like we have another something over here. The lid. I don't know where the gumball went though. Well, that ginger ale in the snow tasted pretty darn good, so I had to do it on large scale. If you're going to do it, though, for the sake of all that is holy, do it with clean snow. Let's compare that to that lead ball I was talking about earlier. Again, weighing seven times as much. 185 grains traveling at 466 feet per second makes for almost 90 foot-pounds of energy. If my calculation is correct and the trend line holds true, if I got the gun to 500 psi, it would carry nearly 200 foot-pounds of energy. But some of that more technical stuff is for another video, coming soon. Considering just how narrowly that balloon was hit, that was honestly pretty impressive, but considering the glancing blow, the results of the test are inconclusive. I'm going to have to time this shot to make sure I shoot when the balloons are lined up. It's not too tricky though. That scraping sound is me taking the safety off. That is an impressive amount of energy for a humble little gumball. Shoot the green balloons with the green gumball. It's tricky because I can't let these balloons stay out in the cold too long or the latex will become brittle and they'll pop. But I've got to get this shot when the balloons are lined up. <laughs> Seems like color doesn't really matter. The green ones hit just as hard as the red ones. That's some colorful snow. It's pretty cool. In the slow motion clip, you can actually see how the gumball immediately disintegrates upon hitting the milk jug. a bunch of gumball fragments. Obviously no exit wound. If only I had reviewed this footage and seen this before I missed two more times. Whatever. It took me a little while to realize that I was hitting high, but What's odd about this shot is how the camera shakes when it was on a tripod. 
I wonder if it was hit by a gumball fragment or the blast of air. Ever so slightly grazed with that green one. I don't know why this is so hard to hit. It's only like five feet farther. <laughs> Here you can see all the gumball fragments. And then here are the two misses, so let's see if I can find anything in there. Yeah, fragments. It, they do explode on hitting the snow. And I don't know about the green one. I did finally realize that I need to aim just a little bit lower. turned that gumball into dust. You can kind of see it against the white snow. Absolutely vanished. Well, that's all I have for you today. I appreciate you sticking around till the end. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.